Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We are here in New York City for a very special vehicle unveil. Obviously, it's this vehicle right next to me. This is it. This is the all new 2024 GMC Sierra EV Denali. But before we get into this full size, full electrified truck from General Motors Truck Company, let's talk about what's going on here. GMC. It's kind of interesting that we're here in New York because if you go all the way back to 1912, that's when GMC first appeared here at the New York Auto Show. Now, over the decades, obviously General Motors Truck Company has been that go-to for many people who wanted that dependable, reliable truck. But over the years, trucks have definitely changed with how people use them and what they are bringing to the table. Now, what's fascinating is standing next to this Sierra EV, it goes back to 1987. That was actually the first year of the GMC Sierra. And now here we are for model year 2024 talking about electrification. Now, what's fascinating is that if you've been paying attention, not only to Rady's Rise, but also the auto industry, you would know that now GMC is the first to have three truck vehicles that are electrified. It all started with the Hummer EV truck. You were there with us on that media drive. Of course, at that Motorbella event in Detroit, we brought you the GMC Hummer EV SUV. And now here we are in New York with this bad boy, the Sierra EV Denali. Now, obviously in this segment of the auto industry, there's been a lot of excitement not only from the sister brand Chevrolet with the Silverado EV, but of course the competition with the Ford Lightning. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you all the ins and outs of this new Sierra EV Denali, and I wanna find out, is this the best way to go for your electrified truck over the competition? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Denali and find out. Right off the bat, the proportions. This is a full-size truck. So if you've seen a Rivian, this is gonna be larger. But what I'm liking is most of the parts are gonna be unique to the Sierra EV Denali compared to the Silverado EV. Now, starting right off the bat, you're gonna see some familiar design here from GMC. Look at how they took their LED daytime running lamps and these are the same style of lighting when it comes to that shape that they have unveiled with their new 2500, the Sierra 2500, but I love just how clean and crisp the lighting is and also the shape. Now, another thing you're gonna notice is look at how the front fascia interlocks within that daytime running lamp. It really shows a boldness that people who want that GMC Sierra truck are used to seeing and want to have on their truck, and here it is in the electrified form. One of the things that I think is so smart is that they added these extra lights, these little horizontal LED lights here, there's three of them. This will actually display your charging. So when you have your vehicle plugged in and charging, it will actually illuminate as you start to restore the power to that Ultium battery pack. Working your way down, you'll see that nice flared fender appearance. And then what they did is they actually moved the lighting that is traditionally up top down lower. That's actually going to do a couple things. Obviously with that bright LED light, you're going to be able to illuminate the road very clearly in front of you. But also when you're behind somebody, you don't have to worry about blinding them to death, thinking that the you know, USS Enterprise is behind them, illuminating everything. So it's going to be more efficient light. Plus, it really plays in nicely with the style. All the way down, they didn't forget those who love LED fog lamps, you have those on the lower side, but think about the challenge here. And I think one of the designers really explained it to me perfectly with an analogy. It's like a fist. The front of this vehicle is like a fist to where you wanna have the boldness, you wanna have that muscle look, but you're also gonna have some aerodynamic efficiency because it's not just about the power of the battery that gives you range, it's also about low drag. We wanna to try to make this as slippery as possible, even though it is a full-size truck. Now, coming across the front end, I'm really liking what GMC has done to make this look like a GMC. First of all, you're gonna get that prominent badge. General Motors Truck Company, all that history, the LED lighting, even the way they kinda took the lines of that traditional, when you look at an internal combustion engine Sierra, with the way the grill is shaped, they brought it here, and I like the way they're calling this the shield. And that's what it is, it's like Clash of the Titans, 
and you have your shield to fight everybody off, and it really plays in nicely with the balance of color. You'll notice, of course, being a Denali, we gotta have some of that nice aluminum style trim, goes all the way around the bottom portion of that shield, and then you'll also notice the functional air intakes here. Of course, we have that liquid-cooled Ultium battery, we got a forward-facing camera, and then you'll notice how they sculpted the lower section as well. Now, what's interesting is that we do have adaptive air ride suspension. You could raise or lower the vehicle two inches, two inches up or two inches lower than what you see here as it's sitting under these show lights. Now, when we get up onto the hood, of course there is an, what they're calling the e-trunk is gonna be located underneath the front. We'll get to that in a few moments, but I definitely wanna showcase the body lines. Love this indentation that they did here. And it has that angular cut, like I said, that is unique to a GMC vehicle. Even the way they sculpted on both sides of that, it almost gives a bulge hood look without there actually being a rise to the hood. So I really am digging all the style. You'll notice that front fender, how it almost has a concave shape to it. All of that is to give that flared fender look, but also cutting down on the drag that flared fenders could produce, especially when we're looking at a vehicle like this. Now, I hope you like large wheels because they are bringing it big time. 24 inch wheels, machined aluminum, the gloss black. I'm really digging the style that they did all the way around. You got, the, of course, the Denali badge. That's gonna be that nice top luxury trim. And these are 35 inch off-road tires and you're looking at 325 on the width and a meaty 45 series sidewall. Definitely sets it apart from the rest. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, my friend down the street, you know, he bought himself a Hummer EV truck and every time I go to get my mail, he's crab walking by my house and he's making me jealous. Well, guess what? This Sierra Denali, EV, you'll be able to do the crab walk just the same, even though the Hummer EV has three electric motors. This particular one does have two electric motors and wait until you hear the horsepower. So of course you got four wheel steer and the ability to crab walk. And now you could go do that to your friend's house and go back and forth crab walking all over the place. Another thing is with that fender, you'll notice the distinct lines of a GMC truck. I love the way they're doing this illuminated lighting. And another nice feature that a lot of customers are talking about is that when they're parked at a campsite, when they're parked on the side of the road, this is really gonna help illuminate the side of the vehicle, which if there's a low level of light could actually be a, a hazard. So it's nice to have that lighting and then you'll notice that traditional GMC shape to the fender openings. Now, as we work our way down, you do have gloss black on the mirror caps. Of course, you're gonna have your turn, your turn signals. You're gonna have your cameras all the way around. And that's another thing. You could have up to over 10 cameras all over this vehicle. Yes, to get all those angles as you're driving, as you're trailering. Down below, I think one of the things that really is such a sweet spot for General Motors with this Ultium battery is how the whole vehicle is sort of wrapped around it. They start with the Ultium battery and then they build upon from there. Really nice running boards specific to this Sierra EV Denali. A little bit of aluminum trim matches it with what's going on at the front. The Denali badge, so much history with that name, so much expectation. And I think that's one of the things that GMC was well aware of is that there's gonna be lots of expectations. And I think, wait until you, especially we get in the inside, you're gonna see some of those expectations I think be met and even surpassed. I love the way they have this nice cut into the door for that aerodynamic efficiency. Color matched on the door handles. We have that nice flat roof and guess what? You're getting your panoramic glass roof. I know that's something that I've always seen in the comment section. Where's my glass roof? Where's my whole glass roof? You're getting it on the Sierra EV Denali. Working towards your rear, I'm loving how they have those truck proportions. But then of course, having to balance the truck-like proportions with the style, but also with the drag as well. You have that box here, over a little bit over five feet. And then of course we'll have the mid gate pass through. And then of course we also have that eight way set up on the tailgate. So wait until you see what surprise, and I'm gonna tell you a number and it's probably gonna blow your mind. 
The way they have it set up right now, it's a little over 10 feet from the mid gate inside area all the way to the back. But to prove it, we actually have something that is over 10 feet long. You'll notice in the back portion, this is where you're gonna be doing your charging. So that's where the door is located on this particular GMC Sierra EV. You'll also notice on top of that, the familiar steps. You got your work boots, you got all sorts of big, large shoes will be able to fit in there. Our same very unique lighting. Remember, there's a lot of DOT required things that come with this type of lighting and they were able to pull it off to a T. And then, like I said, to really showcase what this mid gate and the tailgate and everything else in between, there we have this paddle board that is a little over 10 feet long and you can see how it passes right through. And the great news is it's easy to raise and lower that mid gate area. It's not this big hassle. Plus you're gonna get that nice wide bed opening and you'll notice that you have the handle like before to get in and out because you'll be able to move the tailgate around into all the different positions. On the passenger side, we do have that power supply area where you got your 120, your 220, and you'll be able to, what they say is that if you don't use the bare essentials, or actually if you use the, if you use the bare essentials when it comes to charging your home, say there's a bad snowstorm, say there's a hurricane, bare essentials, you could actually power your home with this vehicle for about 21 days. If you're using a bunch of the stuff, you're looking at about seven days. But you know what? Why don't we go ahead? Let's talk about what's on the bottom portion. As we drop down, you'll see just how clean everything is. We got our full towing capability, 9,500 pounds worth of towing. And if you're wondering and saying to yourself, well, Joe, I don't paddle board. I like to carry heavy objects in the bed of my truck. You actually have 1,300 pound payload capacity. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and talk about the new changes to the Sierra EV Denali. All right guys, surprise, surprise, before we get to the interior where you're gonna be spending a lot of time, I wanted to showcase what GMC is calling the e-trunk. So obviously electric assist is gonna raise the front and what's great about this e-trunk is you have plenty of usable space Plus, it works in a couple different ways. You could use it as dry storage, or you could use it as something that you need to drain water from. So think about what you could put in there. Say you spill some. Say you have this big, large container of coffee and you spill it. You actually have two drain plugs, and it'll actually drain right out of this e-trunk area, and I think that is super smart. On the passenger side, you'll notice that outlet right there easy to get to right up front, but let's talk about the nitty gritty because this truck is not just about the e-trunk, it's about what is underneath all this beautiful sheet metal. You're looking at two electric motors, one up front, one out back to give you that all wheel drive that's gonna produce 754 horsepower, 785 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in less than 4.5 seconds. And here's the biggest number, you're looking around 400 mile range capacity from that Ultium battery. And that really is that figure that many people have been craving. Here's another little fun fact. This has DC fast charging capability. You could actually charge 100 miles worth of range in just 10 minutes. So that really is gonna make this a lot easier to live with, handle some of those range things that people have on their mind, plus, if you've been paying attention, not only to Radies Rides, but also other things going on in the industry, but hopefully you've been paying attention to Radies Rides, when you look at the horsepower numbers, this is more horsepower than the Silverado EV from the sister company Chevrolet. But while we go ahead, now that I've got you excited, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store for you and your passengers in the Sierra EV Denali. All right, guys, time to come inside the GMC Sierra EV Denali. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I was kind of bummed out because I missed the boat on the Hummer EV truck. And to be honest with you, for what I want, I want more of a traditional trunk. My great grandfather, my grandfather, my dad all had GMC trucks. I am digging what they're bringing with this electrified version. I guess the big question is, how much is it? 
Very good question. So obviously this is a pre-production version. That's why we are here to get access, but we can't bring you the usual in-depth, which we will as we get closer to that production reveal. And then when it comes to the pricing, this Denali obviously being a top trim is gonna be right around $107,000. The great news is they're actually gonna have a nice wide spectrum starting at $50,000. So if you do the math, if you calculate and computate and use your abacus, you would know that that's gonna go nicely up against the competition. But you know what? Let's see what you're gonna be getting when you're driving down the road or crab walking in your GMC Sierra EV Denali to the door panels. So what I'm digging is the nice familiar look, but you could also see that there's something quite different. I'm really digging the silver trim, the nice soft touch finishes, the contrast stitching. Check out that speaker grill cover. Massive speaker grill cover, nice aluminum finish, and then a door pocket that you easily can put, I would say about three New York style bagels with some extra cream cheese on top, and of course, a couple bottles of Pepsi to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you'll notice on the edge of the dash, that wood trim with the Denali inlay, even the way they did the AC vents, very nice, stylish contrast stitching up top on the dash, and then feast your eyes on this infotainment system. That is a 17 inch infotainment system, that portrait style, obviously all of your Accessibility is gonna be through that system. You have, like I said, 14 camera views, your navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, plus what I'm digging, it's not just about the screen. They also give you a volume knob. You got your traditional toggle switches that will allow you to go through the different systems of your GMC Sierra EV Denali. And then you know what? If you need more storage, they got you covered. But first of all, check out how they have your wireless charging, that QI wireless charging through the wood. That's an industry first. Two cup holders, but watch this. You ready for a little bit of a magic trick? Hocus Pocus Alakazam. Move that out of the way, move that out of the way. Now that's smart engineering and design. You have a ton of room for just about anything, including, which I know that you got that little snow globe from the Statue of Liberty right at Ellis Island. You have that in there to remind you of all the great times growing up in New York with your family and friends. The materials, the stitching, it continues on the top of the center console and then get ready for the seats. You have that, that premium material, Denali embroidery with the stitching. I'm really digging what they've done to that upper section as well. Something that really separates it from the rest of what GMC has brought. And then if you need adjustability with your seats, of course you have full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. You can move them 20 different ways from Sunday. We have that digital rear view mirror and guess what? They made your wish come true. They made your dreams happen. You do have that panoramic sunroof, glass roof, that is gonna be able to let the vitamin D rays show and shine in. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you where you're gonna be sitting behind the wheel of the all new Sierra EV Denali. All right guys, here we are business time behind the wheel. We're gonna show you what it's gonna be like going down the road behind the wheel of this Sierra EV Denali. Let me go ahead and get out of the way. You have a very nice, tasteful, familiar sill plate with that Denali badge on it. Obviously, Denali being that top luxury trim. You'll then notice all the seat controls. Just like your standard Sierra that maybe you've had for a few years now, easy, within reach. And then one of the biggest things that I love is that steering wheel. You'll notice right across the top, of course, you have the Super Cruise feature. I love the way they have the nice thick rim steering wheel with the leather, the stitching, even the way they did the layout of the buttons. Everything is very familiar. And one thing I wanna kinda of point out is from this position, it's actually not 10 camera angles, it's 14 different camera views. You have, of course, electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then what do we have for a digital gauge cluster? So you have an 11 inch, all new, very fresh digital gauge cluster. On top of that, you have a 14 inch head up display, and that's gonna allow you to get all the important information right there in front of you. And of course, when you're going down the road, you have the ability to have that regen braking as well to help 
with the mileage. But you know what? It's not just about the driver and the passenger up front. It's also about the people that are going to be sitting in the back. Let's go ahead. Let's get to the back seat of this new Sierra EV Denali. All right, guys, backseat time. And just like with the passengers up front, with this being a BEV, a battery electric vehicle, that floor is much lower than what you're gonna find in Sierras from the past. But let me go ahead and get out of the way so Lori can showcase. On the backs of the seats, you do have pockets large enough for a couple slices of New York pizza, thin crust, of course. We have a little bit of a command center that's a little hard to see because of how the seat is folded right now, but there is a Twinkie tray down there, at least six Twinkies, and you got full connectivity and AC vents for the rear seat passengers. You can see how by moving the rear seat, how that mid gate works, especially when passing through that uh, surfboard style stand up surfing in this vehicle, the pass through, you got your rear glass that obviously will be able to move. And then you'll notice on the passenger seat that's still up, there's that great stitching that we were talking about. These are the touches that elevate the overall experience that people expect when they're buying a GMC truck, especially one that has the Denali badge. But you know what? We got to get to the last piece of the puzzle. We need to pop the frunk, that e-trunk, and see what's underneath it in this Denali. All right, guys, it's been one electrifying kind of day here in New York City with this all new 2024 GMC Sierra EV Denali. I got to thank the whole GMC team for getting us here and getting us access to this truck so that we could bring it to you with this first look. Let me know what you think. Is GMC just knocking it out of the park one after one after one with their electrified vehicles? Is this the one that you would buy over the competition? Let me know in that comment section. I know they're dying to know as well which way you would spend your hard-earned money. But put it in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We definitely got to give it up to the person that electrifies everybody's life. Lori Rady behind the lens of that camera. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.